Hey, what's up, everyone? Gamer Guide here, and I want to talk about the Sonic IDW comics. You know, um, I haven't actually done videos talking about the lore of the IDW comics, and I definitely want to do it. I'm pretty much done making uh, Sonic gaming discussions. You know, I ended it with the Sonic Team Cycle video I did with BC Media Player, and that's the finale of me doing gaming discussions. I'm not going to do another discussion about the Sonic games unless if a new video game comes out, a new main title Sonic game, or something big has happened, like Sonic Team is like uh, bought by another company or something like that. Other than that, I pretty much said everything I needed to say in that video. So if you want to watch that video, if you haven't watched it yet, I'm going to put the link down below. But uh, yeah, I want to talk about uh, Whisper the Wolf, my favorite character in the Sonic IDW comics, and she's pretty new as well. You know, um, as you guys know, uh, they released the uh, Ian Flynn released the spin-off series to the Sonic IDW comics called Sonic the Hedgehog, Tangle and Whisper. And the first issue came out this past month, and uh, it was pretty cool, but it also showed a new sinister villain called Mimic. And Mimic looks a lot like Sonic EXE, or Sonic.EXE. And at first when I saw that picture with the, you know, the evil Sonic um, lookalike carrying like a dagger, you know, like the type of knife that used to slit throats, I was thinking, damn man, the Sonic IDW comics are getting darker now. But uh, the, I found out that was actually the spinoff, Tingle and Whisper, not the main comics. But still, you know, as I read the comic issue, I was like, yo, does this actually reveal Whisper the Wolf's tragic past? And I think it pretty much does. You know, one of my one of the frustrations I had with the mainline comics is that Whisper was such a background character. Like she wasn't developed enough. She was the most interesting new character. She was even more interesting than Tangle. I mean, let's be honest. Tangle, what you see is what you get. She's pretty much an extroverted tomboy character, and there's nothing. There's not much to her besides that. But Whisper, she's very mysterious. She's badass. She's cool. She's like a cool version of Avatar. I really love her. You know, but. There hasn't been much towards her character, and uh, I'm glad we're getting that in the Tangle and Whisper uh, spinoff series. But like I said, this issue one has given us more info about Whisper, and uh, before she was very mysterious. So as you guys remember in uh, Sonic IDW issue 8, you know, when Sonic and Silver first met Whisper, and Whisper was going to trash Eggman's entire old uh, lab, and Sonic stopped Whisper because she was going to break his computers and stuff. And Sonic was like, I'm not quoting this exactly, but Sonic is like, wow, what has Eggman done to you? Or what has Dr. Eggman done to you? Because we, kn we knew from then something traumatic happened to Whisper. Like Dr. Eggman must have done something so traumatic to her that she is acting this way. You know, that's why she hates Dr. Eggman so much. Well, I think this issue one in the Tangle and Whisper series gave us more context to this. Now, as you guys know, Whisper the Wolf is, uh, she was part of an old group called the Diamond Cutters. You know, she's an ex-soldier, used to fight in the Eggman War, you know, during the Sonic, the events of Sonic Forces. And, uh, yeah, and then she became known as the Garden Angel because she would always randomly save people. But she always worked alone, kind of like a vigilante. But she used to be part of a group called the Diamond Cutters. Now, what happened to the Diamond Cutters, we never knew until now. But what were they? Were they like a secret militia, a private army, a gang, a squad? Kind of like the Jackal Squad, you know, from Zero before he became infinite. All we know is that Whisper is a soldier and was part of the Diamond Cutters. Now, after seeing Mimic, we now know what happened. At some point in the past, the Diamond Cutters crossed hairs with a shapeshifter named Mimic. As you guys know, Mimic is a shapeshifter. And he ended up killing every single member of the team except for Whisper the Wolf. But he was not aware of this. So something happened and Mimic killed the entire group of the Diamond Cutters. That's pretty dark. And we don't know how many of them were. Well, let's say there were like 100 or 50 of them. Let's say like there were about 50. He wiped out the entire group except Whisper. And he didn't know that. He thought he wiped out all of them. As you guys know, he said in that one comic strip, he said that he thought he wiped out the entire Diamond Cutters, but there's one more left. He never leaves a mission unfinished. So as we know, Mimic was a mercenary hired by Dr. Eggman. Kind of like he was a mercenary that Dr. Eggman hired before he hired Zero. And Mimic was even more fearful than Zero. Whisper had a traumatic experience with Dr. Eggman at some point. It's evident that Dr. Eggman ordered Mimic to wipe out the entire Diamond Cutter group. And I'm pretty sure this happened around the time of the Great Eggman War. It happened around that time. So then... After that, Whisper must have been so traumatized and so vengeful that she's 
basically made it her duty to help everyone out and battle Dr. Eggman, but to do it alone. Which is why she didn't want Tangle to work with her in the beginning of the issue because she doesn't want to get attached to anybody because she doesn't want to lose anyone she's loved because she lost all her family in the Diamond Cutter group. So that really puts things in perspective and it's funny how everything was coming together just from reading this issue. I'm pretty sure as the as the comic series, the spin-off series continues and we get more issues, we'll come to this conclusion. But that explains why she secludes herself from everybody, why she's such an introvert. I'm pretty sure that's her personality, she's always an introvert. But I think the reason why she cuts everyone off from her, she pushes everyone away, is because she doesn't want to lose anybody. So she's just doing things solo. And this is also illustrated very well by the fact that while she assisted the resistance during the war, she never actually joined or even revealed herself to them. So that's pretty cool. So basically, long story short, Mimic was one of the previous old mercenaries that Dr. Eggman hired during his great Eggman war. And this had to be shortly before he worked with Zero or around the time he worked with Zero aka infinite mimic was a shapeshifter we don't know his true form but he can take the shape of anybody and in this issue issue one of tangle whisper he took the shape of sonic looking like sonic exe or some shit dr eggman ordered mimic to wipe out a group of people he wiped out the entire of uh, the diamond cutters group he accidentally left whisper behind whisper was angry got sought revenge by helping out everybody else fighting against eggman but never revealing herself and working alone because she didn't want to lose anyone else so that is her backstory. That's why she's so traumatized by Dr. Eggman and uh, hates him so much. So yeah, what do you guys think about this? Do you think this theory is correct? Do you think there's more to the story and uh, we don't really know what's going on? Or, or do you think this is completely false? Let me know down in the comments below. Now I know some of you are wondering, how am I going to portray Whisper in Sonic Rebound? Now, Sonic Rebound, because I'm not going to be adapting the spin-off series directly into the show, because I'm focusing on the mainline series, the main canon, I'm going to tweak Whisper the Wolf a little bit. Like, for instance, she's I'm going to emphasize more on her being a vigilante than anything, and uh, how she works alone. She's going to be she's going to be seen early in the episodes, because, you know, she doesn't appear until issue 8, but she's going to come in, like, episode 4. And uh, the Chaotix, because she does a great job at being a vigilante and uh, kind of like solving clues and stuff, you know, the Chaotix kind of envies her, especially Espio the Chameleon. Espio doesn't really like her that much because Espio just sees her as a, as a vigilante stealing his work or he basically sees Whisper stealing the spotlight from the Chaotix instead of making their job easier. But I digress, you guys will find out more as the series continues. So continue supporting Sonic Rebound and you'll get Whisper in the future. But yeah, but that's all I want to say. Remember to drop that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember to hit the bell so you are always up to date on what I post. Get notified by the bell. I hope you liked this video. This is a change of pace. I was going to do this video earlier, but man, that whole Spider-Man, Sony, Marvel, Disney news got me fucked up. You know, like... <laughs> I was so upset at the news about Spider-Man not being in the MCU or whatever. But all right, guys, that wraps it up for now. Take care. And until next time, swag out.